The Honeywell Flame Safeguard control is one of the most popular controls on the market. Today on the Boiling Point, Jude in our Hey Jude segment is going to talk a little bit about how this flame safeguard communicates with the mod motor. For a flame safeguard to properly and safely sequence a burner for the light off, it has to send information to our mod motor in order for the mod motor to drive the burner to the open or purge position or close to the light off position. So the way that the flame safeguard communicates that is by sending contact closure into terminals on the actuator. There are five main terminals involved in the operation of the mod motor. Firstly, it has to have power. So the T1 and T2 terminals should have 24 volts AC going into them. That may be from a transformer located inside the mod motor or from a transformer located in a panel uh, with the burner control. But those should read 24 to 28 volts across them and we've got that. So if we've got that voltage we know that it has the energy it needs to do what we're going to ask it to do next. We've got three additional terminals in here, the red, W, and B terminals, um, which are the terminal inputs that we use to drive this to the open and close position. Basically, jump ring, the R and B terminals, will cause the mod motor to drive to the full open position. We would call that the purge position, and that's going to allow the maximum amount of air through the burner to quickly and efficiently purge the combustion chamber. Jump ring the R to the W terminal will drive the motor back to the low fire or start position. It's easy for me to jumper that physically with a jumper wire, but how does the flame safeguard send that same information? It uses terminals and relays to jumper it internally. The terminals it uses for that in this instance are common, low fire, high fire, and modulate terminals. So when this is commanding the mod motor to go to the high fire position, it's jumpering 12 to 13, or the common to the high fire terminal. In order to drive it to the low fire position, it's jumping the 13 to 14 terminals. Once it's lit off the burner and released to auto or modulate, it's jumpering the 13 to 15 terminal, which lets other components on the boiler command the firing rate. And that's what we're going to talk about for the most part. Well, we always appreciate Jude doing his Hey Jude segments. Make sure you tune in in two weeks where Jude will go a little bit more in depth into that flame safeguard control system. As always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. If you like our videos, please share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.